What's up everyone? I'm that guy Osiris and today we're going to talk about Lab Diamonds. Lab Diamonds popularity has been booming and people keep asking me what's my opinion on them and if they're worth it. Today we're going to dive in on that topic. I'm going to give you my personal take and some buying tips. The number one question I get is, are Lab Diamonds real? The answer, yes. Do not confuse them with a fake diamond like a cubic zirconia. A lab diamond is grown inside of a lab using tech that replicates the conditions needed for a natural diamond to grow. So basically pressure and heat. They are grown in a few weeks compared to a few billion years. Now if you have the time to wait for a new natural diamond, go for it, I'll wait. The lab diamond is physically chemically and optically the same as a mine natural diamond. Here are two side by side. Can you spot the difference? I think not. My personal take, I see lab created diamonds in a positive light. They have their place in the diamond alternative world. It's a great earth friendly option that's budget friendly. You green people, tree huggers. We're gonna turn this world around. This is a good way to go. Let's look at the most obvious positive, price. Let's compare these two carat diamonds side by side. Wow, talk about bang for buck. I can't unsee this now. Now just because it's cheaper, doesn't mean you shouldn't take learning serious. Learn about your ideal settings to ensure you have the best cut. If you look in the description box below, there is a link to my site. I'm going to be creating three button options for you. Value stone, balance high quality, and best of the best. Whatever shape you're interested in, there will be a button for you to press that will show you pre-filtered diamonds that already have ideal settings for you. I made it easy for you. Clarity, color, depth percentage, table percentages, girdle, fluorescence, everything picked out for you to ensure that you get the best ideal cut. I will also have a link to my deals of the week page where I hand select the best internet deals for you. Back to the video. You will notice lab grown diamonds are certified by IGI, not GIA. GIA does not grade lab diamonds as of now. So it is what it is. What does that mean for you? IGI certificates are generally one shade off of clarity and color. If it says diamond is eye color VS2, it's really going to be a J color SI1. But why? Why? Why would they do that? Well, that's the diamond game. There are certificate companies that are friendlier to the diamond seller. GIA is more ideal for the buyer than the seller. With this knowledge, know it's off a shade. Unfortunately, it is what it is, and this is what you have to deal with when buying a lab diamond. I will create a separate video one day on certificates, and if I do, I'll probably add it right around down here. But for now, remember this, natural diamond by GIA. Lab diamond, you're forced with IGI, which is typically off one shade. How could you tell a lab diamond apart from a natural diamond? Simple answer, you can't. They are optically the same. However, there is one way of noticing. If you look here, you'll see inclusions sometimes a little, look a little different, okay? Take a look at the stones. I will show you an example. You will see the lab diamond has long scratch like inclusions compared to a natural diamond that has a little bit more of a natural shapes, uh, more circular. We could see this because the clarity grade is lower. But once you're in the VS1 range, you can't see any of this. One negative aspect is resale. But frankly, any resale of natural diamonds is nothing to celebrate about. Selling a diamond in general after purchase will be a very underwhelming experience regardless. The average is 50% back of your original price. Oh wow, I get 50% of my investment. How exciting. And I will argue the price advantage is worth the risk. I imagine as they grow in popularity, which they're doing plenty right now, you have a much easier time selling it. Some say they have zero resale, but I argue 15 to 25% return, especially that it's growing in popularity. Now 25% of a much lower price, I like better than 50% of a much higher price. 
My personal opinion, I don't care about the resale because my mind is set on a one-time purchase. If I could afford an upgrade, I'm probably going to be making earrings out of that one diamond or a pendant. As of now, jewelers will not buy them back, so you're forced to go to eBay or Craigslist. Well, that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. This channel is expanding to my other interests, not just diamonds, so stay tuned for more new content. Smash that like button and give me a follow as it helps support this channel. As always, if you're in the market and about to buy, my email is in the description box below and you're free to email me any diamond buying advice questions. Have a good one and see you soon.